Antoinette, good afternoon. The jury has been hearing more testimony from Matt McCabe, the brother-in-law of the Alberts, who owned the home in Canton where John O'Keefe was found. The morning began with Matt McCabe on direct examination telling the jury how he woke up on January 29th, 2022. He said he was jolted awake by someone screaming his wife's name. Turns out his wife was on the phone with Karen Reed, who said she couldn't find John O'Keefe. Now, the night before, Matt McCabe was one of the people at the Albert House, and he told the jury he saw Karen Reed's SUV arrive that night and that he saw it parked in multiple locations. On cross-examination, McCabe was asked by defense attorney David Yanetti what he saw and heard as he was leaving the party. Take a listen to this. You drove the length of the Albert's property, correct? Yes. While you did that, sir, Julie Nagel never said what was that, did she? I did not hear Julie say that. She never said she had seen a black object, correct? I did not hear her say that. She never said that she saw a black blob, correct? I did not hear her say that. And she didn't say that a, the black blob that she supposedly saw was five or six feet in length, correct? Again, I did not hear her say it. That's significant because earlier this week, Julie Nagel testified that she was also at the house and that she did, in fact, see a, quote, black blob in the snow, but did not realize it was a human body. Now, also this morning, Matt McCabe testified on direct that he was aware Karen Reed had a broken taillight the next morning when his wife went to help Karen Reed look for John O'Keefe. Reporting live at Norfolk Superior Court in Dedham, Todd Kiskevich, WCVB News Center 5.